We are Megan and Justin of the Global Snowbirds. In May of 2018, we quit our jobs, sold all our stuff, and left our home in Vancouver, Canada to live our dream of traveling the world. On this episode, it has been one year, and after traveling to Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, and India, it is now time to return home. Well guys, today is unfortunately the day we head back to Vancouver. It is about 1am, we have about 28 hours of travel ahead of us. But five weeks back in Vietnam here has flown by, this entire year has flown by in the blink of an eye, I can't believe it's been a year already and it's gone, where did, where did the time go? Absolutely crazy. So we're on a roller coaster of emotions. We are sad, anxious, restless. And if you think your travel's over, you're wrong. You're way wrong. We're going home for just a couple months uh, to work and replenish our funds, and then we're heading back out. It's like the usual end of a country. It's sad to leave, but excited to move on because it's a big world out there. Yeah. So we have to fake going to Myanmar because all of our friends and our family think that we're going to Myanmar today. Mm -hmm. Celine, one of our other best friends, is picking up Steven at the airport. I kind of have a feeling she knows we're coming home. So we're going to surprise her at the airport. But, again, that's going to be in the next vlog, so you guys will have to wait for that one also. And now we got to go get our grab. Let's go. Flight number one, about to commence. It's um, 4.24 in the morning. <laughs> It's two and a half hours. Let's do this, guys. Where'd you guys go? Justin forgot to film landing and getting off the plane because he also is on the sleep. But now we have a 10 hour layover. To sleep or not to sleep? That is the question. Hmm. To sleep. That is the answer. It is now 2.30. We slept for like four or five hours or so. All three of us on the floor. Just had a little lunch break. And we're back at the tram. So it's like nine hours later. We gotta go on the train to get to our gate. And then wait an hour. And then we board our 12 and a half hour flight. Oh, it's that time. 12 and a half hour flight, here we come. So we've saved this for an entire year, guys. <laughs> There's no expiry on it. We haven't really needed it because all of our flights have been pretty short. So we have melatonin to sleep for the first little bit on our flight because I don't know if you guys know this, Justin and I have major troubles sleeping on planes. Um, and it's gonna be like 5, 4 or 5 p.m. when we land. So we can't go to sleep for a while, so hence why we're taking this. Hopefully we don't feel too groggy when we wake up. So if you don't know what melatonin is, it's like uh, your, body, your body naturally produces melatonin when you sleep or when you're falling asleep, something like that, with more sciencey terms attached to it. So it looks like this. There you go. It's like a little Listerine pocket pack strip, you know those little strip ones. It's only three milligrams. Okay, okay. that's dissolving. There you go, that's just one, right? I feel like I'm doing acid or something. Chocolate. It's like chocolate. So it's supposed to take like 30 minutes to an hour. 
which is about takeoff time. So, yeah. Steven, do you want a melatonin? Huh? What are they? Melatonin. Oh, give me. Thank you. So we will see okay, you guys. Thank you. I don't know if I'll wake up in time. If not, we'll see you in 12 hours when we land. Sweet dreams. There she goes. So you preserve Miss Vanessa. Flight time today is expected to be 11 hours. We'll get back to you towards the end of the flight with the latest weather and estimate the time of arrival. We sit back, relax, and enjoy the Hong Kong Airlines service. And uh, we wish you a very nice flight. That was surprisingly not that bad. I slept for a good seven hours, maybe? Yeah, we all slept. Thank you, melatonin. Yeah. I uh, um, probably had the worst sinus pressure pain I've ever experienced in my life. That was fun. It wasn't fun. But our flight was only 11 hours, not 12 and a half. Welcome back to Vancouver, Just. That's, that's the threshold to get this. To the Tim Hortons we have been awaiting for one entire year. My mouth is salivating. Yeah. What a long day. So now we are double fisting our lovely, delicious Tim Hortons. So good. Oh so my god. Good. Uh, but we're gonna end it here. Uh, make sure you check out the next episode where we start surprising people. First one surprising is. In an hour. An hour. When uh, she's expecting to pick up just Steven. And then we're gonna run up and kick her in the nuts. Kick her in the nuts. Thanks for coming with us on our travel day, guys. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you for the surprises. Woo. Bye. 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 For surprise, here we go. Oh my god! What the? Next surprise is my parents. Next surprise, my sister. Surprise! What the surprise? So another day, another surprise. We're on our way to our friend Amanda's house. Be sure to check the links in our descriptions for promos, discounts, packing, and more. And of course, you can always visit our website for full itineraries, prices, and other resources.